So it's kill kill wins. Kill kill wins. Kill wins. Kill wins. The first one you smell, and then after a while you don't smell it. Yeah. I'm just checking to see how fast it's going to run off the table. Because you don't want, you don't yeah. want it to run off the table. <laughs> right, so I make a little divot. Because then and, that's uh, discounted fudge, right? Yeah, those are the free samples, right? <laughs> so um, the faster it closes up, the faster it's going to move on us. So we want it to cool down to temperature okay. that we can move the fudge without having to worry about it going up. So are these like pools? No, they're just room they're temperature. Just room temperature? Yep. Mm -hmm. So then this one here is going to take it. Well, this one. Mm -hmm. This one here is going to take it. Well, this one. Uh, no, it, it'll be hot on the edges, but in the middle it'll be so. It's going to splash a little bit because there's some walnuts and cherries in there. all the way upside down and then grab it with the other hand because we're going to go over it. And what that does is it catches the drips. Oh. So it doesn't run down the side of the okay. pot. And then we get to lick the bowl? Right. I wait till it cools a little bit first before doing that. You don't want to do it in front of customers. Oh, yeah, definitely not. And that goes into that cherry one as well. This one's going to go into the French silk pot, which is a lighter chocolate pot with our chocolate chips. Oh, but we'll add the chips at the very end so they don't melt, otherwise we'll just have chocolate fudge. What's that? That's our sweet cream. It's uh, um, Killwins, uh, proprietary with Killwins, so um, it's, uh, just, it, makes the, the it makes the cream. You just add it to water. So, so it's, it's just very kind of stable and um, yeah, it's right. easy to use and, and uh, um, because it's a dry powder it won't expire okay. as fast as if we were using a, a fresher a cream. Fresh cream. Right. No. So, but we do use real butter, um, a lot of butter. A lot, of butter, a lot of butter. Why don't you want it to cool down? Because I need time to get the next bunch. Oh, of okay. So, so it's all just about time and the way across. Mm -hmm. So, so then I can just paddle, 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 and then, and then, and then all over. So where you say paddle, that's where you toss it with the bake, right? So now, what's the purpose of doing that? Uh, to get the sugars and the fudge to crystal. Oh. So if I met, if we never paddled the fudge, it would never harden. It stays syrupy like the hot fudge you put on the Sunday. Yeah. Um, so we can leave it overnight and come back tomorrow, and it'll just be like a factory. Because it, it wouldn't be hard enough to cut. And then it wouldn't be easy to have to pour it. Well, well uh, no. I mean, for an ice cream time. Yeah. No. I mean, you could it, I guess. I wouldn't mind putting it on the ice cream. <laughs> you want it to put on it. You want it to set up, so that's why you add one more cup okay. and then we can slice it. Um, we don't want to taste the sugar in so We want it to be really smooth and creamy. So we're going to use the, the big paddles and move a lot of fudge on it. If you were to just to whip it up like this with a whisk, you'd have a tendency to overwork the fudge. And by overworking the fudge, you would break down the sugar structure and it would take, have a grainy taste. It would be soft and grainy. See, when you say paddle the fudge, I think of when I was a child. I'm getting fatty, right. Well, <laughs> if you look at the fudge paddle, it's a bigger exactly. version. Exactly. Probably what you had. I right? don't yeah. know if that's a bigger version, but no. pretty darn close. <laughs> We're going to pull the bars off here. Yes, that's probably good. Yeah. Do you have the same head and shirt that you do? In your head, maybe. <laughs> you have to sing it twice now, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Just wait for him to finish the hand washing. So the starting getting it started, it. Yep, getting it started is the hardest part. So we want to make, give ourselves time and space. So we're going to get all the fudge into the middle of the table. And then we don't have to pan. That's the spot. We'll get there. Go ahead. So what we want to do is um, kind of work from the edges and work towards the center. And then we'll go around the other way and work toward the edges and kind of keep pushing it towards the center. If you okay. go down the middle, 
it'll, it'll go off both ends. Yeah, right. So you need to walk so around. We're gonna, right. So we're going to go left, right, and we're going to keep working towards the center. We're not going to push it as far in with each one. And the last one we're just going to flip it over. And then we're going to walk around the table. See, I'm tilting the paddle here around the table. And then we're going to go the other way. Right. Right. And then we're going to have to go as far. Left, right. Flip it over and drag it back through the fudge. And that's going to get the sugars in the fudge to crystal. Is that paddling and, and the dragging it through the fudge. I'm going to walk around the table here. Yeah, come all the way over here. You come all the way down here. Right? And then drag it back through the fudge. Right? And then do the other way. Yep. Oh, I'm throwing it. Yeah, that's all right. Just don't throw it at me. <laughs> yeah, and just make sure you're dragging it back through. Drag it back. Yep, okay. that's right. Okay. Now get more of that towards the center here. You don't have to go as far. So come down here. No, 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 no. You got to get this part. Yeah, okay, get, get it. Yep, into the center. Yep. All right. So now we're gonna go off both edges here. So walk around the table. Come all the way down here, and then drag it back. Yeah, that's it. There you go. We got a natural here. Now wait till I get done with this side before you start. With okay. So kind of go up and over the top, just like that. Okay. okay. And then when you get to the end, bring it up, scrape off your back. Like that? Like that's good, yes. Probably not. Scrape off your knife. Let's get the rest of those chocolate oh, chips in there. Yeah, now we got both hands covered. It's starting to look like a loaf now. Right? Yeah. So when you get to the end, scrape off your knife, clean it up. We order them from the um, Gordon's Foods, and they bring whatever is in the season. They have to be 100 pound Granny Smith in excellent shape. That's what we're looking for. These don't snap. <laughs> can I just take a pair of these home? Sure. You can drive, I'll just do this the whole way. Yep, yep. We'll try to get as close to half as fun as possible. We, we like to go, um, let's go ounces here. So that would be 16, right? A half a pound is eight ounces. Oh, that's right. My, my so pounds are off. No, I was thinking a pound. That was 16. 16. Right, we want a half a pound of slice. And we're going to cut the end That's off. That's your slice. Right. <laughs> so we're going to cut the end off here because we want to uh, start with this of square end. 
and then what we're going to do is tear the knife. So when we put the fudge on here with the knife, it should weigh eight ounces. Eight ounces, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So we want to try to keep it between seven and a half. And I'll eight stand and back. Half. Seven and a half and eight and a half ounces. So no pressure here. So straight down, and we're going to scrape the table so that way you get a nice clean cut. Right. And we got eight point three. So that's not bad. See, you're good. So no when we set it down, we're going to set it. Hold it and pull the knife up and away. So and then that way you're not tearing and ripping. Right, we're not pulling fudge out of it. Then we're going to scrape the knife because we want a clean cut. We don't want this on top of the next right. slice. So on the next slice, you can see it looks a little bit wider. So you're going to cut it a little bit thinner. thinner. Right. So, so when the slices are thinner, you're not getting right. less. So it that's just 8. means 9. it was from the right more yep. centered part. Yep. So that one's going to be a free slice. Okay, good night. Now, our, our, um, you, I'll cut one more and then you can cut. Okay. All right. You, you have to tell me if I'm too far in. Or... We'll see. All right. So 8.3 again. So pretty consistent. It's a tough competition right there. And you want to leave a little bit of space in between because the fudge is still warm yet, and it will melt back ice. together, and uh, then it'll look like we haven't cut the fudge. Then it'll be one pound slices. Again. It'll be bigger than one bread. Right? Okay. So. Yeah. So. So we're looking right about there. A little, little bit less. It's a pretty wide here. Yep, right there. Try that. Straight down. Yep. Switch Straight. it. Yep. Put you at the table. This actually looks kind of small. Well, it's really down there. Yeah. Seven point two. two. Hey, right, that's so what you told me to. Be. We, we want to be right. I did. I did. <laughs> so we'll try again here. Okay. So the so next one's going to be a little bit like a. Uh, a little bit more, so. Right. So you don't you don't have any like type of gauge for this? Do you no, uh, you just it's just so, a guessing uh, game, right? Because I know this costs okay, a little bit so less. Right? A little bit less. Yep, yeah, right there. Right about there. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go straight down. Yep, yeah, that looks like a good one right there. Oh, hey. Right. Right on the scale. Eight point one. Good job. All right. Holy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This so this is the fudge that I helped make. Right? Yes. So this is this. So it doesn't get any fresher than this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's warm. Mm. That's so good when it's warm. A glass of milk. Mm, some ice cream. A little more fudge. In good shape. Wendy and James Faulkner. They own. Kilwins, Kilwins. Mackinac City. up in Mackinac City. Two locations here. So if you come up here for fudge, just make it. I help make it. The French silk. French, the French silk. So if you find this French silk and it's marked up, that would be why. What was the one that had coconut in it? Uh, German chocolate. Why don't we do that one because my daughter loves coconut. French silk, so right there. She'll be all over that. I made that. I'm gonna buy coconut. I made that one right there.